Nearly 70% of all potential legislation considered at the start of the session is no longer in play, including all bills dealing with police reform, epic charter schools, and how state questions are brought to a vote of the people. E-Capital News Director Sean Ashley joins us with more on what's been cut and what is still under consideration seven weeks into the session. Sean, a lot of big ideas that received a lot of publicity and public discussion are now dormant. I mentioned a few. What sticks out in your mind? First of all, as you mentioned, police reform. After the George Floyd death, the protest across the country and in Oklahoma, both Oklahoma City and some of its smaller communities, there were a number of police reform measures proposed that simply did not advance. And on Wednesday, House Democrats brought that to the attention of legislative leadership during a press conference. Also, there was a lot of concern after the audit was released last year regarding epic charter schools about the governance of charter schools in the state of Oklahoma. Really, none of those bills have advanced and, and don't seem to be going anywhere this year. But at the same time, the State Department of Education and the statewide virtual charter school board are looking at rules that would address some of those issues. So Sean, of the what remaining 950 or so bills, what appear to be the big ticket items that lawmakers are gonna concentrate on going forward? Well, I think probably the biggest are the three tax relief proposals that really came out in, in the final period before the floor deadline uh, recently. Uh, House Speaker Charles McCall has proposed reducing the individual income tax and making the earned income tax credit fully refundable while also eliminating the corporate income tax over time. Across the rotunda in the Senate, Senate Majority Floor Leader Kim David has proposed rolling back or eliminating the motor vehicle sales tax that was approved back in 2017. Changing gears, Sean, we all see the marijuana dispensary. Seems like there's one on every corner. One proposal attempts to limit what appears to be a glut of them. How's that going to work? Well, House Bill 2646 is the Oklahoma Medical Marijuana Authority's request bill, and it contains a lot of language related to the location of facilities, as well as grow facilities and, and other facilities involved in the industry. There's also a bill coming across from the Senate that has to do with the measurement of the distance between a school door and a dispensary door. Ultimately, those measures will probably be combined into a single bill. Finally, a former U.S. attorney is going to be heading up an investigation of the Parole and Pardon Board. Who is he and what is he going to be investigating? Brian Keister, he's a former U.S. attorney and a former state district attorney in Oklahoma. Back in February, Governor Kevin Stitt asked the Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation to look into how the Pardon and Parole Board has been handling the commutation process following a couple of unfortunate incidents. So Brian Keister will be working with the State Bureau of Investigation on that probe to see exactly what they've been doing. As always, we want to thank Sean for his valuable time and insight.